Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Welcome to today's reading. Happy Libra season, all of those things. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmates, Twin Flames, where there is a karmic situation involved, which is actually the case for, I feel like for most Twin Flames at least. Um, and these karmic situations, they serve as a challenge or as a block. Now, I will be doing the reading um, as if that karmic situation is on the masculine side, but of course, feminines also have their own karmic situations that they are dealing with. Um, so just take the messages as they make sense for you, all right? Because we all have both masculine and feminine energies anyway, okay? So yeah, just take whatever makes sense to you. A lot of the masculine's energy can also apply to the feminines. All right, so before we get started, just a couple of things I want to quickly, quickly say. Number one, thank you so much to those of you who have been donating to my channel. It really, like, I don't even think you guys understand how much it helps. <laughs> um, it does help me to keep this channel going for me to keep doing these readings. And also, more importantly than that, is that, like, it just, I feel like they come in exactly, like, when I need them the most whether that be financially or whether that just be psychologically and actually that one is more important. So yeah, thank you, thank you so much. I feel like really you guys just like know exactly when it's needed the most and that's when they come through. So I really appreciate it. Also know that usually um, most of the time, if not all of the time, when I do get a donation, I usually do pull like, you know, just like one or two cards and just email that to you, just any message that wants to come through for you as a thank you. Um, okay, so that, and then number two, um, in case you missed my community post that I made just a couple of days ago about cord cuttings, I am doing a special offer where if you buy, or if you book five um, within a three month period, you get the fifth one at 50% off. Um, I also explain a little bit about cord cutting and what it is and what exactly I offer um, with this service, it's more than just, okay, getting your cord cut. Like, it actually includes a video with tarot and oracle cards and information about that relationship to the person that we're cutting the cord for um, and what was found in your cord. So it actually includes quite a bit. Um, I explain that in the post, so feel free to check that out if you haven't seen it, if you are interested. Um, and also, let me know if you have any questions. You can leave questions even in the comments under this video. Um, and I will do my best to answer them. So yeah, I think that is it. So for this reading today, um, it is general as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation and that is perfectly okay. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And that is it, let's get started. We'll be looking at the masculine's energy, what's going on in their karmic situation, their energy towards their feminine, a little bit of the feminine's energy, and what might be coming up in the next week or so. So let's see, let's see, let's see what is happening with the masculines. Okay, we have journey. So this could be actually very literal for some of you. Um, that the masculine is actually taking a journey, like taking a trip, or even moving. Um, and I feel like the reason why this is showing up is because whatever this trip is that's either upcoming or that may have been in their recent past, um, I feel like it's quite significant, like there's some significance attached to that journey, to that trip, um, especially in terms of um, their Divine Feminine and this connection. So it could be that they have, um, you know, some major realizations because of this, or it could just be a significant turning point in their lives, which will impact this connection. And then for others, it could be that they are like literally just moving, moving locations, um, moving jobs. And of course it could even be um, <laughs> the masculine's energy and wanting to leave their karmic situation, right? definitely could be that as well like this there's just this energy of surrounding them of moving leaving going away let's see I haven't used this deck in a while let's see what else for the masculines 
All right, and we have sanctuary and thought. So there's a lot of thinking. Whatever this journey is for them or whatever trip they might be taking or moving or even if it's just figuratively speaking, all right, with sanctuary, it definitely could be like a journey in the 5D. There's a lot of thought um, revolving around this. So there's something that they're going to think about here very, very um, deeply about. Okay, let me just get a couple more Oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. <laughs> oh, this mask card. Yeah, they've been wearing a mask. Um, they've been wearing a mask and I feel like what's happening here is that something that the masculine is realizing, something that the masculine is thinking about is how long they've been wearing this mask for. Whether it be that they were wearing this mask um, for others or even to their own self. So it's like free will is coming into play here where there's this understanding, right? This is, this is all what they're thinking about, that it's actually up to them to take off that mask and that they have been waiting and waiting and waiting way too long, procrastinating, um, putting it off, delaying, all of that um, to take off this mask. And I feel like, you know, right now what they're feeling with that journey card is, yeah, I need to take that mask off. Like... Like it's not, like I said, it's not just literal taking a trip. It's okay, you know what? I need to move in the direction. I need to get away from this type of a lifestyle, this mask that I've been wearing, taking it off. And they're realizing that that's really up to them. No one else can do it for them. And that's a big thing. That's a big thing because I feel like for a lot of these masculines, you know, they've just been waiting for things to just like magically fall into place and they're not. They, they actually have to do something about it with their own free will. And this is also about, you know, a lot of the times these masculines, um, some of them, okay, depending on the situation, have been waiting to get consent from the karmic. They're waiting, you know, to agree on things or for something to happen so that they can take that journey and move away from this. Most of the time, that's not going to happen. It's going to have to be their own doing. It's it's just, it's not going to be that easy where the karmic's like, yeah, okay, you know. Um, and even if that does happen, there like there's still some challenges. There's still other things happening where the masculine will still have to use their own free will to keep revealing this mask and taking it off even even after okay for some of them it really depends on the situation but that's that's the message here okay so let's see let's get into the tarot what is going on with them just overall i will just be pulling three from the top Ooh, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and Justice. Yeah, Justice showing up here. <laughs> Libra season. There we go. Wow. Okay. So their general energy right now is that of walking away. At least emotionally detaching. At least thinking a lot about this. Wanting to take off that mask. Feeling like they have not been presenting themselves for who they are. Um, they're feeling like they're at the end of some kind of a journey here with this nine of wands being in reverse. Like they cannot keep up this act. They cannot just keep pushing through um, wearing this mask and pretending like everything is okay when it is not. And I do feel like, you know, Libra season is actually going to help them out with this, wanting to settle things, wanting to find resolutions, wanting things to be balanced and right now they're realizing that they're not feeling balanced why because they're wearing this mask and again this could be a realization that they have on a particular trip okay for some of you that's very specific um, and for others it's that they're thinking about that they're thinking about this leaving this moving away because actually the masculine is emotionally detaching is emotionally detaching from this not only that um, I'm seeing that this masculine is also emotionally detaching, like 
from the perceived challenges of doing so. Um, the justice can also talk about divorce, okay, for those who might be married. So it's like they're emotionally detaching from the perceived difficulties of the actual divorce process or even of, you know, what, whatever major decision in terms of walking away. Um, like realizing that, okay, it's not going to be as tough as I thought or even if it is, you know, like it's just, it's just what it's got to be. So let's see more specifically, let's see what's going on in their headspace. The Four of Swords, Judgment in Reverse, and the Magician in Reverse. Okay, so there's still a little bit of doubting here. Um, they're feeling, and, and this does actually make sense with Libra season as well, that they're feeling like, you know, they want things to be peaceful. They don't, they know that they're the ones who have to take action, but they still want it to happen in a peaceful way. And I feel like this is something that, you know, they're going to have to realize is that, well, you know, it's, it might not happen that way. Like it, it, it can't always happen that way, that this is a good um, intention to have, but it might not actually work out in that way. And I feel like because they don't have that sense of peace just yet, that is something that is um, just serving as a blockage at the moment. So they're feeling like, you know, they're, they're like, there's like, they're not that capable of this because there isn't that piece. Now, what's interesting about this card, which I just realized, does it say patience? It doesn't, it, no, it doesn't actually say, <laughs> it, the letters are like so small. Um, but anyway, what's important is that when I saw it, I saw patience, okay, which is the card that we already have here. So I feel like, yeah. Um... Again, I feel like, you know, the, the other thing they're thinking here, as I said before, is that they're feeling like they have been already so patient in waiting to find this peace and like a peace of mind before taking action and before making a decision. And that actually this is what has held them back. So this is something that they are aware of. Um, I, I feel like this is something that they are now awakening to that they have not manifested what they want, right? Which is this justice. Because they've just been waiting for things to feel like they would happen peacefully. And, you know, maybe they can, maybe they can, but, and maybe they will, but maybe they will anyway, that's the thing. But the masculine is waiting to feel that first, but they might not ever feel that until they actually do it. And then maybe it will be that way. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that wasn't confusing. But what they're realizing is that, yeah, I'm just waiting for things to be peaceful and that has not gotten me anywhere. It's just delayed everything. So let me just get three more. The Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. This particular masculine, I feel, may have been attached to a particular role here um, in terms of this karmic situation that they are in. Um, and that situation, again, it could be work. It could be them being a workaholic. It could be status, all right, with this Ten of Pentacles. It, and it definitely could be a, a commitment, like a marriage or just a long-term commitment. This is what I'm getting for this particular um, reading here. Whatever whatever that is, it, it could even be a family member. Um, whatever that is, I feel like they've been attached to a particular role here, okay, as the emperor, like feeling like um, by being in this situation, it gives them this status or it gives them this sense of control or the sense of self-identity with what they want to identify themselves with. This has been something that has held them back in the past. Now what I'm seeing here with this Nine of Swords in reverse is that the stress of that and the anxiety surrounding that is diminishing. 
So realizing that, yeah, you know what, this is going to be something that I, I might have to give up or that maybe I won't even, you know, really lose this role even if I walk away. Because they're detaching regardless. They're detaching and they're seeing the whole process of walking away from this situation, from this belief, from this behavior, whatever it is, from this person. They're seeing it as being less challenging now. And that they've waited long enough, just waiting for it to be more peaceful. And it's just not. And, but it also doesn't feel as hard now. Um, so yeah, the stress is, is decreasing in terms of what they feel like they would lose if they were to walk away. Okay, so let's, let's move on. their energy towards their feminines. What is going on there? Okay, just one more shuffle. Alright, let's see. Who the devil. The Knight of Wands in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Okay. So, wow. They're having a pretty hard time here concerning their their feminine counterpart. Um, there's, there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear. And I feel like this fear is that they have lost their feminine or that they are losing their feminine, that the feminine is actually, um, you know, not, not there or just not feeling the same anymore that the either that the love is fading or that their desire for them is fading um, there's also this fear of the feminine possibly um, entertaining other people or doing other things or there's a fear of that happening because of the time that is passing and I'm actually getting that the masculine here is really having a crisis about that um, obsessing over it even obsessing over the possibility of losing this connection or of damaging this connection. There's a lot of restlessness associated with this, a lot of frustration, um, even getting that they're feeling angry with their own self. Let's see what else. So for their headspace, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Wands, they're, wow, they're really viewing you as detached. Um, detached, and not only that, like, they, I mean, because their first card here is the Devil, right? So there's a lot of illusions. So this might not even really be accurate, but for some of you, it, it might actually be how you are um, feeling, or at least that you might be feeling this to some extent, but I feel like the masculine is like over dramatizing this in their, in their minds. Um, just feeling like this love is, th that you're just not there. You're not, you're not as loving towards them. You're not um, as accommodating to them, to their every little wants, desires, needs, you know, like whatever, because, well, you're standing up for yourself and you're putting yourself first. Uh, I feel like you, you just don't want to tolerate whatever the situation is, okay, for a lot of you. Um, or you're just, you know, kind of keeping your distance emotionally. And that's the thing with the Five of Cups being in reverse. Like the masculine is feeling like you don't even really... Um, not that you don't miss them, but kind of like that. Almost like, you know, that you're not even that upset over the situation anymore as you used to be and that's it's like that's giving you like this upper hand so to speak um but it's not a game it's not it's not about who has the upper hand it's just that they're seeing you as really you know standing strong and really conquering your own life conquering your own emotions conquering the situation almost like you know they up until a certain point, it's like they had you for granted. And it's like now, I feel like, you know, you're kind of protecting your heart. 
um, in a positive way and just moving forward, not crying all day about this, you know, that kind of a thing here, which is making you victorious in a sense. And the masculine can pick up on this and it's like, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Like, what's going on here? Um, you know, just feeling like they're losing this or that there's the possibility of losing this. And that is creating a lot of ooh, emotional upset. So let's get one more row here. Strength in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. What is up with all of these reversed cards here? Um, and a lot of, I, I feel like there's a lot of cards um, talking about patience or impatience here. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're feeling a little impatient now. Um, feeling like, you know, this has been going on for too long. They're, they're viewing themselves as weaker than you because you're, at least in their minds, they're seeing you as moving forward, as you conquering your own emotions, as you just really having your shit together. And they're not, they feel like they're not there yet because they're, you know, they're still wearing that mask. They're still in the process of taking it off. And so there's a little bit of this like intimidation almost like an intimidating energy coming from you towards them. So there's a lot of there's a lot of emotional upset here. Again, they're feeling like they might be losing this um, from you. A lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of nostalgia because of this because it's just so easy to have something for granted, and then once we feel it slipping away from us, like you know, that's when it can really hit us, that it can be very triggering. And that's what I'm getting here. The masculine is triggered by you healing or by you pulling away, by you um, doing your own thing here. And I feel like, yeah, you know, the, the feminines have been very, very strong. And so now there's a lot of this nostalgia and a lot of, you know, just feeling like they could be left out in the cold here and that you are feeling okay about the fact that you are not in union. And again, it doesn't mean that you are that okay about it. And for some of you, you totally could be, but it, it's like, they're feeling like, yeah, but you, you can do it. Like you're okay. You're not the way that you were. There's a, there's a big difference in how the feminine was and how the feminine is. And they're able to pick up on that. So let me actually get a few cards for the feminine and see um, <laughs> if the masculine's perception of you is accurate. Um, and then we'll see what is coming up. So for the feminines, what do we need to know? What is the message here for feminines or what is going on? Yeah, and we have the thinking woman and angel of strength. I feel like, you know, you're just really like um, very straight in your head. Like you just, like I said, you have your shit together. Like you're not allowing yourself to get triggered. And it's not even about allowing it. You're just, you've healed so much that you're not as triggered by this situation in the way that you used to be. Like I said, I'm not surprised to see the Angel of Strength card here. You have built up so much strength. Like you have toughened up and it's like, and this is because of healing, because you have healed so much through this journey with, with your masculine, through this connection. And you're still proving to be strong. So you should be very proud of yourselves. Um, okay, let's see what else. Just to be fair, I'm going to pull from the same decks that I pulled for the masculines. So what else for the feminines? Awakening. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like you're seeing things differently now than you were before. And that's not easy. 
it's not easy, all right? I mean, even just having that angel of strength card, it is, it has not been easy and it might still not be easy, but you're, you're doing it. You're, because you are awakening, you are dealing with the situation and coping with the situation in a different way than you were before. And that's not to say that you don't have your ups and downs, all right? Of course you do. Of course you do. But the difference is it's not getting the better of you in the same way that it was before. So just a couple more. And we have received a deception and mute. I feel like you already know or you, you just feel it deep down that the separation um, ghosting the um, lack of communication or a withdrawal in some way of communication is deceptive that really it's about wearing that mask actually I'm seeing this mute card in a similar way as the mask card we just couldn't get the mask card because it's already out um, so I feel like that is what this is referring to that you are able to see through the masculine's mask and that mask, again, it could be, you know, like if you are in no contact, for example, you have received like so many signs, so many messages. So you know that this is a mask, but that doesn't mean that you're just going to, you know, be a doormat. I feel like, you know, you, these, what, what else you have received concerning this deception is, you know, you that you're not going to tolerate this deception. And I feel like because you're not, tolerating that deception, you know, you too are putting on your, <laughs> your mute mode in a sense, where you're just not going to entertain mask-like energies or behaviors, whether that be on a practical level or whether that just be energetically, where you're just like, yeah, I'm just not going to occupy my mind so much and my heart with this. You're just in the six of wands. And the masculine knows that. Um, should we get some cards for you? I feel like that's actually enough <laughs> um, for the feminines. Like I always say, I do get more cards out for the feminines in the other readings that I do every other week. Um, so that would be next Sunday. Um, so yeah, we will get more information then. So let's actually move on to what is coming up. for the masculines here in their karmic situation. What is coming up in the next week or so? All right, King of Cups in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there could be some emotional instability here. Um, and I feel like it's because of the shift, right? Because they are emotionally detaching from this, which can actually create some like weird emotional stuff um, within the masculine. However, though with the Five of Cups being in reverse, it's not affecting them. It's not affecting them that much. And of course, this is also them, you know, just pulling away emotionally again from the karmic situation. So I feel like that is continuing on. Um, in a way where you know they don't even they don't even feel so guilty about it like they did in the past and i feel like we've been getting this message actually maybe not so much like in the past few readings but i remember getting this message like a little bit before that like it's been building up where they're just feeling less and less guilt or less and less um regret or sense of loss in leaving whatever this situation is or moving away from it Right, five of wands in reverse, feeling like, you know, whatever, whatever it is, like whatever it is that was conflicting them before, like this is something that it either can be resolved or if it can't be resolved, like, oh, well, like they're just, I, I don't see them engaging in like this, like petty back and forth, like arguing or trying to figure it out or having this conflict. No, it's like, yeah, you know, maybe it actually can be peaceful in a way, but in a different way than they than what they had thought. Like that peace, it's not going to be because the karmic partner or the karmic situation, whatever, um, 
Is that a consensus with them walking away? No, but they're going to be at peace. Like it can be peaceful just because, you know, like this is just it. Like we don't need to engage and perpetuate pettiness, arguments, things like that. So that's what I see the masculine um, doing in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, just, yeah, not engaging, not engaging in disputes. I feel like they're just tired of that, if that has been happening. This is something that they're tired of and it has not been working anyway in the past. So yeah, overall feeling less guilt um, about pulling away emotionally from this connection. So let's see their energy coming up towards their feminine. The Hanged Man in reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Magician in reverse. Okay, so a little mixture of things here. Um, definitely not wanting to wait. Not wanting to wait anymore, right? Not wanting to be to leave the situation hanging because there's this fear of losing you. And so I see them with the Page of Cups like opening up, either wanting to communicate, wanting to make some kind of contact. For some of them, this could even be some kind of an apology or just warming up to you in some way that you know you will be able to see. Um, whatever that is though, I feel like it's not going to be like huge okay with the magician being in reverse. I still see them not having much confidence. So I feel like they're coming forward in a small way. Okay, but whatever that is, it's it's something, okay, so that's something that you might see um, coming up. Whatever it is, though, it is a little bit of a shift here. I feel like it's a subtle shift, like it's not like this huge, like, bam, you know, big thing that you're going to see, but there is a subtle shift, and even though it's subtle, it actually feels significant. They don't want to have things hanging anymore. They don't want things to just be waiting around to see what's going to happen because they feel like they're losing you. So yeah, Page of Cups, there's some kind of either communication or some kind of a warming up um, that I see them engaging in in the next week or so. Okay, so let's get an oracle card to get any other messages for those of you watching that this might have resonated for. And if it did resonate, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know. And we have cleaned it up. And that's interesting because I, I, I was actually thinking about that card. I don't know why, like that card, I was just thinking about it and then it came out. Um, let me get one more. This is the masculine's energy, by the way, really wanting to clean this mess up and new life. Wanting to clean it up in order to have some kind of a new life because this wearing a mask is just not sustainable anymore. Um, definitely, if you feel like this is, you know, a message for you, definitely take that if you feel like there is something that you need to clean up in your, in your own life. And it could even be something in the 3D, like literally clean up. Um, maybe just your space or obviously it could be you know just in your mind clutter in your mind or just things that need to actually get done okay I'm mostly seeing this as being for the masculine but again you know it could also apply to you so yeah that's the masculine needs to clean up <laughs> to clean up in order to have this life they need to clean up the old in order to have the new um, so yeah, that is what they're being guided towards to clean all of this up. So that is it. I hope that this all made sense and I thank you all so much for watching and much love.